you will need the latest version of iTunes installed on your computer to complete this task. First of all, look on the back of your iPad for the model number and take a note of it. Then on your computer, open a web browser and in the address bar, type in ipsw.me. On the left hand side of the web page, choose Identify My iOS Device. On the next page, choose iPad. Then scroll down, enter your model number and click on Find My Device. It will show you your iPad model. Click on download latest iOS. It may take a while to download depending on your internet connection. When it's downloaded, close your browser and open my computer. Then click on organize, folder and search options. Then click on the view tab and select Show Hidden Files, Folders or Drives. Then click OK. Then go to your Downloads folder and copy the iPad iOS file that you recently downloaded. Then go back to your C drive, click on the Users folder, find your username, open the App Data folder, then Roaming, then Apple Computer and open the iTunes folder. Create a new folder called iPad Software Updates if there isn't one already. Make sure you type it exactly as it is on the screen. When you have made the folder, open it up and paste the iOS file into the folder. Then you can close My Computer and open up iTunes. Then plug your iPad into the computer and press and hold both the power button and the home button until the iPad powers off. When it powers back on, you will see the Apple logo. You can then release the power button but keep your finger on the home button until the iTunes logo appears. iTunes will detect there is a problem with the iPad and a dialog box will appear. Choose Restore and on the next box choose Restore and Update. iTunes will then extract the iOS file. Your iPad will power off when it has extracted the file. It will then power back on and iTunes will verify, prepare and restore the latest iOS on your iPad. It will power off once it has installed it and then power back on to finish off the install. While this is happening, iTunes will display the progress. You will then see the opening screen of iTunes. It will then say welcome to your new iPad. Don't click on anything until the iPad is finished with the install. When the iPad is finished, it will display the welcome screen. In iTunes, click on continue, then get started and wait a few seconds for the iPad to sync to iTunes. You can then close iTunes and set up the iPad from new.